Hello everyone, Gidden with the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Okay, so, I know I'm kind of going through this opening part of the game at kind of a snail's pace, and I'm sure I'm going to get comments about that. I just really wanted to show off a lot of these timed events, and we're pretty much up to the last part of this, so, yeah. It's the eve of the carnival, and I can't even get to the clock tower stairway entrance. This thing's worse than a dog of breath. <laughs> this had better be the last of the surprises. So I already talked to him, so he kind of said something else beforehand, so... Yeah. <laughs> but either way, um, let's go. So, there's a few things I do want to show off, um, but at midnight, things start to kind of enter panic mode. Um, you guys will kind of see, but, um, yeah. Either way, let's go over here, and... Yeah. Um... So we've kind of been ready to enter the last, like, area for, like, or, like, you know, the area there for a bit. Um, but, yeah. But now, everyone has abandoned the inn, so we can actually enter into this room now, um, which was the staff room. So, let's do this. Okay. Alright. So we got a silver rupee. Oh, man. What's this? Hmm. Well, that's going to be important for later. I remember this room. Um, for now, though, we're actually going to rush right over to deposit all of these rupees, because holy crud. <laughs> um, right. So you can kind of do this, like, it, well, I'll go into more detail on that in a bit, but, yeah. Either way, the three days are almost up, and, yeah, things are about to go crazy. So let's go over here. Okay. You, bank person. Take my money. Okay. So, let's deposit the 99. And, boop. Wait, no, what? Oh. Hate that. Actually, in the 3S version, he will automatically, um, just kind of be like, okay, um, this, it'll, it'll, like, by default, say the amount you're carrying. Um, this one, I have to actually input it. Okay, and I got 200 rupees, and he now is going to give me a, an adult wallet. Okay. See, doesn't it hold more than the old one? Fill it up and bring it all to, all into the deposit. Okay, so let's go. Oh, it is almost midnight. Oh, the earthquake. <laughs> so there have been a lot of earthquakes going on on this last day. Um, things are already kind of going crazy, but... Yeah, let's look up at the moon. Okay, that is big. Okay. Okay, guys, well, here we are, the final hours, and this music track, the picks in right now that you guys are hearing, is literally the most hauntingly perfect music for this situation right now. Like, good lord. Hello. Oh, I want to flee, but, but it's not written on the schedule. To, to me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. Okay, there's the stuff. Let's go. Oh man. Also, fun little touch. You can see clocks in every single building in this game. Um, well, at least generally every single building in this game, and it's really cool. Um, let's go in here. Hello. I'll be on vacation for a short while. I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. Okay. Well, let's go. Gosh. Yeah, as you can see, there's like one right up there. Gosh. But yeah, as you can see, uh, the alarm has, or like the time limit, has now turned into actual numbers, and you can actually see the rate that's going. So it's a little bit faster than an actual minute. Um, but it's not quite like a minute. Um, 
so yeah. Also, if we talk to this guy again, he'll have something different to say. Um, so let's go up to him. Hello. It's save of the carved noble, and I can't even get to the clock tower stairway entrance. Oh wait, no, he just said the same thing. Okay, I think he said something before, like, if it's gonna fall, then fall already, you know, or something like that, or... I don't even know, but man. Let's go over here, and we're gonna collect this heart piece. Alright. Well, guys, I think it's time we finally went up. Don't stop now! Look, you can get up there now! Yeah, you're right. So let's go. Oh, hey, Skull Kid. Now oh, there's our ocarina. <laughs> this. Ah, Tail, we've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Hey! Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy! No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. That scream. Well, okay, guys, the moon's falling. Faster, anyway. Gosh. But okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna shoot a snot bubble over at Skull Kid right here. And he drops the ocarina. Okay. Well, let's go grab it real quick. You got the ocarina of time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Okay. Doo doo do 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 You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it's only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. Hey, we know that one. Do, 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 do. Okay. Side note, I'm glad I'm playing this on my actual N64, because when I played Ocarina of Time, it was on, like, the GameCube port, and, like, I had to use, like, the C-stick to play tunes, and it was terrible. You remember the Song of Time? This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. Okay. Well, let's go. Gosh. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. <laughs> There's a bonk sound in the 3DS version. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. Somebody! Anybody! Goddess of Time! Help us, please! We need more time! Okay, well, let's, uh, select our good old ocarina. Um, so, and we're gonna go about right here. Yep. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Okay, so let's do this. Yep. Well, I mean, it's one of the only things we can do. We can't really fight Skull Kid right now, so... 
Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Please. <laughs> so yes, um, we're going to be set right back to the beginning. Though we are going to keep a few things. Uh, the heart pieces we've collected and the uh, wallet that we got. So, yeah. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. Oh, we also still keep the ocarina. I forgot to mention that one. Generally, key items we keep. So, yeah. Okay. But what just happened? Everything has... Hey! There we go. <laughs> Starting over. Oh. Okay, well the moon's back up there. Still there, but smaller. But what are you, what are you anyway? What song you played? That instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it! Your instrument! The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, you could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Okay. Well, we got it. So, let's go in there and talk to Creepy McMath Salesman. Yep. Okay. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, oh, oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Then listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. Okay. Left, right, down. Left, right, down. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Um, left, right, down. Left, right, down. Okay. So... Bye! <laughs> I like that. Hey, a mask appeared. Well, we're back to normal. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, uh, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Okay. And we got ourselves the Deku Mask. Press start to set it to that, and then we can uh, use it. Okay, wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. Press C again and return to normal. <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that what you promised me. Oh, that part. Um, well, um, don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back, didn't you? Oh! What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Okay. Uh, the mask that was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. Oh boy. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. Hmm. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. Hmm. 
The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Okay. Well, either way, we are back to normal, and we can slay the Deku mask. Um, we'll probably use that in a bit. But for now, um, let's go outside. Alright, I'm gonna move my notes. Okay. That mask! The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things! Well, whatever it takes, we've gotta do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and cave the tale was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. What do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should, we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Okay. Well, um, if you guys actually remember the uh, tip from the Scarecrow, um, let's really quickly do a thing. So if you play the Song of Time backwards, uh, a thing can happen. Incredibly helpful thing to remember to do, by the way. Um, slow the current flow of time. So, yes. Um, in this version of the game, it triples the amount of time you have. Um, in the, uh, like this, in the 3DS version, it only doubles. So, yeah. Either way, though, let's do this. Hello. Oh, so what is this? You can save your progress and quit here. So guys, I want you to pay attention. So the save system in this game is weird. So we can go back in time and save. And then there's quick saves via these statues. You can save your progress and quit here. When you reselect your file, my face will appear by your file name. This indicates that the next time you reopen your file, you'll resume playing at this very place and time with your current status. That part's... yeah. Warning, if you reopen this owl file, then reset without saving at an owl statue, you'll lose the progress you've saved here. The next time you open the file, you'll restart at day one with the status you had when you last saved using the Song of Time. Save your progress up to this point, quit playing now. But pretty much what that's trying to say, so it has a save system, but this game has this system to prevent you from save scumming. And uh, if you know what I mean by save scumming, it basically uh, is when you like just load a save if you mess something up. So in the N64 version, the 3S version changed this. Um, is that if you decide to, oh I messed up going to this place at this certain time. If you decide to quit just because you went to an owl statue before, uh, the owl statue save disappears when you load the save file. So, um, essentially... Uh, it's just there to basically put a bookmark in your current run through the, uh, three days. So, that is something that is very important to remember. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Now, what we're gonna do real quick, actually, I'm gonna put on the mask. Oh, gosh. So yeah, in the 3DS version, they changed it so that uh, the owl statues are your only saves. So basically, if you have a... Uh, okay, we can do this now. Okay, dog, 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 follow me. Oh, no, it's too late. He's already gone. Oh, pretty much, anyway. Um, so, what was I saying? So yeah, uh, the owl statues are your only saves, and it will save, and you can save scum in the 3DS version, but not in this one. So, that is a distinction that you should try to remember, and yeah. Okay, so I'm derping. I want to get the Stray Fairy. I've been playing this for a long time, by the way. All three of these parts I've had to do in one sitting because I couldn't save, save. you know what I'm saying? So, um, 
Excuse me if I derp for like the remaining like eight, like, or I should say seven minutes of this video. Um, I've been trying. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, let's go over here. Um, so, I guess I'll show off a few things that you can get now that you are regular Link. Um, just because, uh, you know, now we've reset time and stuff. Um, I'm gonna save leaving Clock Town for next part. Okay, guys? So, we're gonna go over here. And, uh, yeah. Now, the save system is probably not as confusing as I'm making it sound, guys. Um, but... It definitely is different, and again, it's there to prevent save scumming. Um, whether or not you like that or not, you could even comment that down below. And whether you like that they've changed that in the 3DS version, that is up to you. It is a very major change, it is in fact probably the most important change that the 3DS version has made. Um, whether, again, you agree with that as a change at all, that's up to you guys to really say, uh, I... I'm kind of mixed, because on the one hand, it takes some tension off the game when you can do that, because there's, it does lend itself a little bit to the time limit atmosphere when, you know, you know that your actions have a consequence like this, but you also know that it's friggin' annoying if you forget something that is like, well, I guess I gotta go and do a thing, just get back to that point now, you know? Um, so, I don't really know, I guess, yeah. I'm just gonna go over here now, though. So this was the mini game I forgot to do, by the way. So I guess I'll do the first one of this for a second. Hello. How about it? Will you? Will the young one play? One game is ten rupees. Sure. All right then. Use this deacon flower and have fun. If the if the time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below, just once it's over. The best time for today's game is uh, 1 minute 15 seconds. Get all the rubies faster than that. Okay, then burrow into the deacon flower. The game begins the moment you jump out. Okay, let's go. So, um, this minigame is also uh, easier on the 3DS version. Because they actually give you the option to look directly below you by uh, pressing like the R button. Um, this game doesn't do that, or the N64 version here does not do that. So you kind of have to really pay attention to your shadow below you and then make a very good guess as to where you're going to land. Um, if you're not very good at that, um, you're probably going to have a bad time with this mini minigame. Um, Especially with the more complicated variations for each day, so yeah. Um, you also want to definitely be mindful of the fact that the platforms are going up and down, and be sure not to keep holding forward upon landing, because you could totally just land and then walk right off the platform. <laughs> so, don't do that. Um, and you should probably be good. So, alright, there we go. Okay, it's all over. One minute and four seconds. Amazing, it's a new record. Take this. Okay, we got 50 rupees. I'll record this time. So what's your name, young one? Hmm, Link? That's a strange name for a Deku scrub. If you can, come by again tomorrow. Okay. So, um, in the 3DS version, there's also a new thing, which is called... Uh, there's a uh, new fishing holes that they added to the game. And many games like this one, in the N64 version here, will drop you with 50 rupees. Um, in the 3DS version, they give you tickets to the fishing hole. Um, which, alright, you get less rupees in the 3DS version. So, mm hmm. I never really found rupees to be as big a problem in this game as with Ocarina, though. Like, you can kind of grind them up, but... And my, per my problem with Ocarina is just like, I would be full of rupees and would have nowhere to put it. The fact that I have a bank makes it better. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. I think she also gives me something else. No, she does give me something else because I've done this before and she can't give me bubbles now. So, yeah. Oh, kind young one, 
Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. Okay. And we got ourselves our first mask. Uh, well, aside from the Deku one, the Great Fairy Mask. Wear it with sea. Stray fairies will fly to you when you wear it. You'll know when you're close to a fairy who's lost in a temple if the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Come to me whenever your quest has made you weary. Gotcha. Okay. So we can use that thing now, and it'll be helpful in the temples. Um, you do get very good rewards for doing it. I know there's lots of people who pass on it, but I, I think generally all the rewards are mostly speaking worth it. Um, so, I don't really know. At least the one for the water temple. But we'll go into that one when that comes around. Um, now the mask won't do anything right now because, uh, yeah, there's no stray fairies around. But that one will basically, like, sit, like make stray fairies head towards you. And we'll also let you know if there's one in the room that will kind of glow and stuff. So, yeah, it's helpful. Anyways, we're going to drop off this uh, cache. And I will actually probably go back in time rather than owl save, um, just because of obvious reasons. So, yeah, let's deposit 161 rupees. Okay, so, do. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, I just realized it's something I could do. <laughs> um, I want to do that, because I can. So we're gonna go to the dojo over here. I want to do that because it's nice and simple. It's right here, and uh, I have the correct amount of money for it for sure. And I think after that we'll end off. So, okay. This training center has a friendly, polite, 24-hour one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now on, from now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? Uh, yeah. Let's do the expert course for 10 rupees. The expert course is a practice session. Cut down the 10 lungs using the highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you shall be taught all the secrets. I gave him a, one voice before, but he's such a hippie, so... Have you prepared? Okay. At least he looks like one. Okay. Boop! Okay. That was weird. It didn't do it for a second. Okay. And... There we go. So you're gonna want to jump attack all of these. All of them. If you do a regular attack, you're not getting the item. Okay, so we have, like, two more. Now, when you lock on, you're gonna want to have it recenter for a second. Um, so basically, when you lock on, wait for it to center you, and then jump. Hmm, impressive. I must give you something. Here. Okay. We got ourselves a piece of heart. Okay, we've collected three pieces so far. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. And I guess I'll collect the one up in North Clock Town because I can actually do that now. So, um, there was a platforming sequence that we were too short to do uh, as Deku Link, and we can do it now as regular Link. So we'll go do that, and then I'll go back in time. And I'll probably worry about doing the full Deku minigame thing also this next cycle. Um, Again, recording these parts is going to be a little bit weird because it's going to be like in a format where I'm going to be going through like the three days and collecting things and like, you know, doing stuff. And I, I hope it won't be like super boring for everyone to watch. Um, but I'm going to try and like balance plot and side quests, but this game is mostly side quests. Um, there's like so many little optional things you can interact with and do. Um, and yeah, but either way we have four hearts now and I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, this has been fun. I'm looking forward to playing through this game on this channel, and I hope you guys have enjoyed these three parts so far, even though it's been crazy. I've had to do this all in one sitting, and I'm probably going to have to get used to doing that a little bit. Less so because I have these statues, but either way, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Alright, mm, bye!